so we would talk about our next topic that is ophthalmia neonatorum so an important topic for pgme entrance exam also a question was asked in the last year aims exam also so please remember this topic not only for your aims exam but can be asked in the professional exam also so what is ophthalmia neonatorum if i do the definition so it is a bilateral conjunctival swelling in a neonate within the first 4 week of life okay remember first within first 4 week of life so basically infection is most likely due to the passage of birth or passage of the baby through the birth canal so if there is an infection in the birth canal then the chances of infection or chances of cause of causing ophthalmia neonatorum are very high so if i talk about the causes uh, any type of bacteria or virus can cause ophthalmia neonatorum the important causes that you have to remember are a uh, chlamydia trachomatis remember chlamydia trachomatis is the most common cause then the other causes can be neisseria gonorrhoeae which can be very disastrous for the child as i told you near uh, when i discussed about the hyperacute bacterial conjunctivitis then important is hemophilus influenza species now this is important particularly in those children which are basically admitted in the icu and then we have our streptococcus pneumoniae which is also a common organism that can cause a ophthalmia neonatorum and staph aureus so these organisms you have to remember but definitely it can be through any uh, uh, any virus or any bacteria uh, the important viruses that can cause ophthalmia neonatorum that you have to remember is the adenovirus a uh, very common virus and a herpes simplex virus so these you have to remember now sometimes they ask a question about the time of onset and the ophthalmia neonatorum so if i have to divide or i have to identify according to the time of onset so then we have chemical conjunctivitis or sometimes we put a credi solution that can also cause an ophthalmia neonatorum and this happens very soon so it's an abrupt onset within 2 to 6 hours so other bacterial causes can cause the ophthalmia neonatorum within 5 to 7 days then we have chlamydia trachomatis uh, this is also a uh, basically a, a slowly growing bacteria or a slowing slowly growing pathogen and it causes within 2 to 3 weeks okay so a more slower onset then similarly neisseria gonorrhoeae can have an acute acute onset within let's say 24 to 48 hours and herpes simplex takes almost 2 to uh, almost 2 weeks so the same thing with the adenovirus which can take around 1 week and uh, the, your bacteria can basically take almost around the 5 to 7 weeks now we come to the treatment parts the important treatment is that we have to treat according to the culture sensitivity which we get and according to that we start the antibiotics but if we think that the there is a, a definitive infection in the birth canal then we can put some povidone iodine solution in the eye as an antiseptic antiseptic and rest the treatment is based upon the causative agent so these are some important points regarding the ophthalmia neonatorum